Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Non-Fungible Show. My name is Max and this week we're going to see how to buy a real NFT on OpenSea. We're going to set up a MetaMask account, buy some Ether on the SwissBorg app, transfer our Ether to MetaMask and then finally buy our NFT on OpenSea. Now let's get into practice. The first thing we need to do is to set up a MetaMask wallet. So here I'm on the Brave browser and I'm going to manage my extension. It's going to hide the video. Don't worry. I won't appear on the screen, but I'm still with you. I will need to go to the web store and then search for MetaMask. And here I can simply download the MetaMask, so I will add it as an extension to my Brave browser. So now MetaMask is downloaded and it can get started. I need to set up my wallet. If you've never done it before, please read all the instructions because there are some notions that are really important to understand. I'm not going to go over all of them, but here I'm not importing a new wallet. I'm going to create a new wallet. Uh, I have to set up a password. So this is just the password to protect your MetaMask in your web browser. So it's not your private key. It's important to understand. So this one just lets you lock your MetaMask basically on your web browser so no one can access it. Uh, keep those uh, passwords secret and if possible, use um, password manager. If you've never set up a MetaMask account before, I really encourage you to watch this video and understand um, what is a private key, what is a public key, what is the difference. It's highly recommended to use at least um, a password manager and there are other ways to protect your private key. I'll let you go through all of this uh, by your own. So here is your secret recovery phrase. You should always keep it for you. Never share it with anyone. I'm not going to click on it because I don't want to show it to you because if you have my secret keyword, so my passphrase, you'll be able to recover my wallet on your computer. And this is not what I want. So on your side, what you should do is you should click here, save those 12, those 12 keywords, click on next and make sure you have saved the recovery phrase in the right order. So this way you'll be able to, even though you delete the extension from your browser, you will always be able to recover your wallet. So for the purpose of this video, I'll only click on remind me later. This is my wallet. So now I'm able to use it and to set some ether. So this is the first step. Now your MetaMask wallet is set up and I have a public key where I can send some ether. Now my MetaMask is set up. I can go back to OpenSea. Now I'm back on the screen. That's wonderful. I can also click here because I've pinned my wallet in the navigation bar. And on top here, I have my public key. This is what I'm going to use when I need to send Ether to this wallet. So first I'll move back to the SwissBorg app. So here I have my SwissBorg app and I'll, I'll first buy some Ethereum. So if you've never done it before, it's pretty straightforward. My app is in French. I'm going to buy it with, with Swiss franc. I'm going to buy some ETH, uh, 0.3 ETH. I should be enough to cover the NFT I want to buy. And I'm going to confirm here. Amazing, it should take a few seconds to get the best execution. Let's have a look. So I went through Kraken, then Bitfinex, and I went straight from Swiss franc to Ethereum. Amazing. I can end up here my transaction. I know I want to send it to my MetaMask wallet. Here I'm going to click on top here and copy my public address. This address, you can display it wherever you want because you can't restore your wallet with this address. It's not like your private key. This is your public key. So I can copy it here 
and from my portfolio here i'll go to ethereum and i will send my ethereum to an erc20 address so i will enter paste my address here you can double check that it's starting with 0x to ec and it's finishing by f1a5 so i have f1a5 it's the right address i'll send eth so i'll send everything so my point three is click on next i will confirm so you always have a warning here make sure the address you're sending it to your ethereum you own it you know what you're doing yes i know what i'm doing i need so i'll do it with digital print here I confirm and it's sending my Ethereum to MetaMask. So it'll take a bit of time to be sent to the wallet. So now, as you can see, I have 0.2988 Ethereum in my wallet. I had to pay small transaction fee. So those are gas fees that you have to pay anyway for a transaction on the blockchain. So when you transfer whatever asset, you have some gas fee associated. And here you can review in activity the transaction. So I can see that I've uh, transferred my Ethereum from one wallet to another. So the address that I received my Ether is exactly the same as the one here. I can go back to OpenSea and connect now my MetaMask wallet. So if I click on the top corner here i'll be able to connect my wallet always be careful when you connect the wallet to a website you need to know what you're doing make sure it's not a malicious website because they could be a website that will just steal your assets if you don't know what you're doing another thing that is really important as well that i forgot to mention is when you transfer some ethereum you have to make sure the network you're using. For example, in the Swissborg app, I had a, a reminder that told me to use the Ethereum mainnet. So here I'm on Ethereum mainnet. And if you want to verify which network you're interacting with, you have to check here on the, on the top. So I have just one network at the moment. So it's pretty easy to know uh, which one I'm using. Then I'm going to a collection. I already know which one I... I want to buy. I choose this project uh, Flicky Gang because I presented it uh, quite some time ago and I'm going to buy one. So uh, I'm going to check here. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. I'm going to select this one and uh, buy this Flicky. I'm going to wait for the image to load. Uh, I'll make sure it's the right one. You can also verify some details here, make sure it's the right contract. So it's ERC. Um, 721 on ethereum if you click here you'll go to ether scan i can see that it's the right flick collection uh, always do some verification here i'm fine because i'm on the right website i know it's the right collection and i'm no i'm buying a real flicky so once you want to buy it you have to click on buy now i'm gonna purchase it's opening my wallet and i will have to approve the transaction so what you see here you have some gas fees currently it's five dollars so i'll have to pay five dollars to do the transaction on the ethereum network so i'm fine with the fees it's gonna yeah recompute the fees every 30 seconds apparently i can click on confirm and my transaction is being sent to the blockchain I have my transaction ID here. I can click on it if I want to monitor what's going on. So um, as you see, it's being processed. I don't have any confirmation uh, yet, so I'm gonna wait a bit. So it's been a minute already. I have six block confirmation. I can go back to OpenSea. And if I um, go to my profile here, I should be able to see my Flicky Gang is here. If you've never heard about this project, as I mentioned, I covered it in the 
first or second episode of the NFT show. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode and you feel more comfortable with buying NFT using MetaMask, um, buying some Ether on the Swissborg app. As you see in the process is the definitely the best platform, the simplest way to buy and transfer uh, some assets. I'm using it all the time to buy NFT on different blockchain. So that's it for today. See you next week for another episode and stay non-fungible. Bye.